Hey, so good morning, guys. Uh, I'm going to start this video off by saying thanks to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed on my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, my feedback and the response from everyone has been absolutely amazing. I hit 100 likes and followers in under a day, which is amazing. And yeah, I've got loads of nice comments, loads of nice likes on all my pictures. Um, yeah, so I have to say thank you for that. That's, that's amazing. It's really cool. Uh, I know a couple of people mentioned that they're looking forward to seeing the next video. Uh, so I decided to record a small one for today. Um, we're not going to be out doing much, so today's going to be just a small hike, just in the local area, uh, some places I've never been before. Along the coast, I'm going to take my fishing rod and I am going to be exploring a couple of caves and maybe a little bit of rock pooling as well. Um, I've got my bag all packed, my carabiner, is it carabiner? I can't remember the brand. Caribi, there we go. It's my Caribi bag. I've had this for years and years and years and years and years, and it's my favourite bag of all time. It's come from Australia with me, it's come from England with me, from Scotland with me, all my backpacking, all my camping adventures, and it's solid, absolutely solid. Uh, if you want to see what I take on my usual day hikes, uh, just check out my Instagram and Facebook. I'll be posting a picture of the items that I packed in my bag for today. It's not much, just a bit of food. I brought an axe and a knife just in case. Uh, I want to make a little fire or something. Um, I brought a can of beans, so if I do get hungry, I can set a little fire up on the beach and heat up a can of beans, which would be nice. Uh, still no saw yet. Partner's down there laughing at me. Still no saw, still no saw yet, but yeah, we'll just find some deadwood on the beach. It'll be nice and easy, some driftwood. The weather's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The scenery is going to be lovely. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. It's going to be an interesting day. Brought a torch, so we're going to be able to see inside a couple of the caves on the way down. It's 11 o'clock in the afternoon. I had to wait a little bit for the tide to go down. Because the uh, the paths that I take, you have to wait until the tide goes out. Because there's literally no way unless you want to go swimming. So I've had to wait till roughly about 11 o'clock. The tide is almost out. It'll get me through and it should get me back. There's 10 hours left until the tide comes back in. So I should have my hike finished by then. Just looking forward to some of the scenery. It'll be nice. <laughs> Partner's just told me that I'm an absolute idiot. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. But yeah, here's my partner. Little picture. My partner. Wrecking the partner on my t-shirt today because she was a bit upset that she couldn't come. She's not feeling very well. So yeah. Let's get outdoors guys. Let's do this. So here we go, we made it. Not too long of a journey, 50 minute walk, 15 minute walk from the house. But yeah, beautiful here. We got a uh, Shannery Point just up there. Where is it? Just there where the lighthouse is. Beautiful. Great for seeing the dolphins. Great just to sit and watch the waves, listen to the ocean. It's lovely. I've heard um, there's some good fishing spots down there for flatfish, uh, flatties, but we'll see. So we are heading all the way up this way, along the coast. Uh, this is why we needed the tide to get out because we are heading up to this point here and a little bit past. It's going to be a beautiful day. Just gorgeous. Lovely, I'll hit you back when we find something interesting.
cool. Favorite time of the day when the tide's out. Absolutely beautiful. Found this little one already. And this was just walking on the beach. See if you can get a good. It's beautiful. She's definitely in there, look at that. First find of the day. Not much, definitely be loads more, but she's a fair size. And what we'll do is we'll leave her just here on the rock. So here we go. We'll drop her in here. There she is. Leave her in here. She can spend the rest of the day here until the tide comes back in. I'm sure she'll be safe. Maybe one of the kids after school come by and pick her up and see her. Hopefully they'll put her back. But yeah, good little find for the beginning of the day. I say she's a fair size. Cool. I've done quite a fair trek already. The tide's nice now, so I'm gonna just walk along the rocks, see if I can find anything nice. And I'll let you guys know if I find anything nice on the way. Right, so we'll say bye to our little friend. And let's continue. Awesome, so second catch of the day. There we go. Shall not hold it for too long. There they are. Beautiful little fish. Found it in this little rock pool here. Stunning. I can see his little friend in here as well. But uh, he seems to have disappeared. But we'll let it go. Fast little buggers. Very fast. There you go, little one. Boom. Buggers. Uh, I spotted about two in here. Um, I won't bore you with catching them, but yeah, beautiful little fish. Let's keep moving. So I've just discovered that I might not be doing the full track that I thought I was going to do today. Uh, my own fault, I can't help but stop at every single little pool I find. I found this little dude. There you go. Whoop. Yeah, I'll get a better shot of him. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, it's hiding away. That little dude. Not big enough to bite me yet. Oh, oh, oh. But yeah, here we go. Oh. In the water, and off he goes. Awesome. Yeah, there's a uh, plenty of few more little fishes in here as well. But yeah, here he goes, goes home. Such a beautiful day to be outside. Such a beautiful day.
So just look at this. See all these tiny little dots on the sand? Little lug ones. <coughs> What's that? Should have brought a shovel with me. And all these tiny little holes here. I can't remember the name of them, but there's a uh, some type of shellfish that lay just underneath these. Can't believe how well the tide is out. You rarely get to see this on this beach, especially in this quantity. Amazing. Let's have a little trek and we'll see. Uh, there's tons, there's tons. Shame we didn't bring our shovel. Could have maybe dug up some nice worm for fishing a bit later with. Bye, I'm getting a bit hungry now. Uh, been hiking for about an hour, not a long time. Skipping along the stones can take it out here. But there's so many beautiful little fish around here. I think I'm gonna set the camera up and go a little bit further out and try and get some mussels. Uh, I can put some mussels in my little cooking pot, find some wood and get them boiled up. Get to try and find some nice and decent sized ones. But yeah, the scenery is beautiful. Having a lovely day. The weather's staying nice for me. It's lovely. There's a point just behind me, just here. Gorgeous little point. We'll go sit up there and chill out and have a drink for a little bit. Uh, that is where, almost a year ago, my little boy's hamster died. Uh, so me and my partner took it out to that little hill down there and buried it. And I did check a couple of days ago if she was still there. And yes, yeah, no one's disturbed where she's been buried, so I'm guessing she's still there. But I'm going to put the camera away because there's a couple of rocks to be turned around here. See if I can find a decent sized crab or some starfish or something cool like that. Some nice pictures for my Instagram. But beautiful day again. Beautiful day. Summer's coming out. There's not many midges on the beach. Plenty of sand flies, but they don't really bug you. Having a good day. Okay guys, I'll let you know if I find anything cool under any of these rocks. Spot this beautiful little bed on the rock just here. Seems pretty shy, but we can see how close up we can get. Just looking out for his dinner. Just like all of us, eh? See any animal kingdom working to pay for food is not a thing. Their idea is of work is sitting on the rocks. Oh, sitting on the rocks, waiting patiently, to see if they can spot anything. It's letting us get a, get quite close. Oh it's, oh, it's magnificent! And there he goes. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Good luck with dinner. So I didn't want to scare him off. I was trying to go slow, quiet, not get too close, but he's gone. Shame, beautiful bed. Uh, would have loved to have got some close-up images of them, but I'm a predator in his eyes. So all is good. Sweaty, very sweaty today. It's very warm. But if you're not sweating, you're not working hard, eh? Uh, shame, shame we couldn't get some nice pictures of him. Well, hopefully the video will come up pretty well, especially on a larger screen, it should look pretty nice. It was gorgeous, he had like a fanned out tail, I say he, could have been a she. Uh, I don't know what type of bed it is to be honest, I'll google that when I get up. Gorgeous. Oh, so almost there, I'll hit you up when, when we hit the rock. Oh, there's a cave up there as well, we'll go exploring the cave, see what we can find in there. Cool. Catch you guys soon. So just a quick one. I uh, met a lovely old guy on the beach. Uh, I saw him out down on the rocks uh, on his own. And I saw he was collecting stuff. I, he waved at me. That's how I was. So I thought I'd go over and have a little chat. Lovely old man. He's um, out winkling on his own. 
which is what I used to do as a little boy with my granddad. And I used to love it. Getting home on the night with a bag full of winkles, boiling them up, picking them out with pins, and sat there eating them and grossing all my friends out. Yeah, why are you eating snails? Why are you eating snails? They're not snails, man. They're just pure, delicious. A special bit of vinegar and salt. Lovely. But yeah, it was lovely. It had a massive, massive tub of winkles, a uh, couple of mussels. A nice guy, originally from Cromarty, which is roughly almost where we're heading to today. I don't think we'll get there today. Um, lives out in Fort Rose near me now, so that's nice. Maybe we'll see him again on one of our ventures. Uh, yeah, it's lovely when you meet nice people like that. You live in a city for so long. You get nothing but assholes, really. No one that wants to stop and chat. People just brush you off. And to be honest, nothing really interesting to talk about or say. Out here in the sticks. Yeah, people got stories. And people are nice welcoming. It's lovely. Wish all well could be like that, yeah? But no wars. Nothing. Just people getting along with each other. Just as it should be. But yeah, I'm just at the cave now. I'll quick flip the camera around so we can see it. Uh, we'll head inside, flash the light. I know this is only a small cave. I've been in this a few times before with a little man. Uh, so we'll go inside, check it out. Right, right, guys, have a look around. And then we're almost at my fishing spot. The spot where I buried the hamster. The spot where I like to go fishing. Never caught anything. But it's just my little zen zone. I like to sit out on the rocks, cast a line out, and just sit, sit and be with my own thoughts. It's lovely. So, cave is just here, where my finger is, for all these reeds, uh, for all these fans and stuff. Let's go through, see if we can make it. It's a little bit of a track going through, very overgrown. Most likely going to be pulling ticks tonight. The track's not too bad. Oop. Let's see, we're almost there. Here we go. There's the entrance to the cave. Let's try and get down and see. Plenty of nettles. Oh, here we go. Like I say, there's not much to see. This is basically it. Just a little car out in the rock. And there. And a little fire pit. Uh, people have been building it over time. Me and my little boy have stuck a couple of rocks in there. Like to come down here. Our favourite spot for marshmallows. And a little fire. I think there's some old pictures. My Facebook, personal Facebook, my personal Instagram of me, the partner, and my little boy sat here having some marshmallows. But it's beautiful. This little rock here, my little man, he laid just up on the side of the rock. Daddy, Daddy, can we sleep here tonight, please? Can we sleep here tonight? <sighs> I'd love to, son, but you'll get eaten by the sunflies. <laughs> Right, so this is the smaller of the two caves. There's one 15 minutes, five, 10 minutes up maybe. We'll go check that one out. Yeah, we'll go check that one out and see where we'll go from there. Uh, the guy I met earlier was telling me about some boffies that I just left up there. Uh, pretty well tended some fishing boffies. We'll go sit there, cast a the line out and have dinner. It's about a two hour trek, he said, so that's fine. I can hold it for two hours. Let's get back through these reeds and get onto the beach. And there's our next stop, just 
there. Let's go check it out. So we are my favourite place to be on Rosemarkey Beach. Gorgeous little place. That one's just up there. I'll get the camera out so you can have a quick view. So here we are. Got pack just here. So this is where I usually come fishing. This rock here, when the tide's in, I'll sit on this rock and cast out into this little area. Never really catch anything, but it's definitely, definitely just a nice place to sit. Gorgeous. And just here is where I buried down step. Just underneath this rock. She's just down there. Nice and safe. Oh. She's so gorgeous, huh?
we go, cave entrance number two. <laughs> Could just imagine being a caveman, living in there, living off the sea, and just that being your little house. How cool would that be? Right, let's have a climb up. We'll get the torch out when we get up there. Here we go. Right, so see this little boy out here. Uh, just a little, just a little something. That's all. When I was a, uh, when I was a kid, and I used to go skimming along the beaches. What I used to do is every time I'd find one of these boys out on low tide. I used to go search underneath them because usually they carry crab pots, lobster pots and I used to take what was inside <laughs> I should have, I should not have because there was not my lobster pots to take from but I, I always got a few crabs and a few lobsters from these uh, Shame I'm older and more responsible, I would have gone out and grabbed whatever was inside and we could have cooked it up tonight but hey ho be responsible, don't mess with other people's stuff. Let's see, look at that. That's the cave we just come from just there. Amazing. Onwards and upwards, let's keep going. Awesome, so I have, oh, there we go. That might be the lifesaver we're looking for. So I've been, it's been about 45 minutes since I last recorded and I have heavily <laughs> ran out of water and you'll see the, the last clip. I found a decent amount of dry wood uh, to start a fire. So I've just been coasting the beach looking for any form of stream that runs down with some fresh water and I have seemed to have found one uh, I'm gonna head up a little bit further see if I can get naturally this will be a nice spot so I'll test the water see if it's clean enough not salty and yeah I'll fill my flask up and we'll boil it off when we stop off for some food uh. So we're all learning, we're all getting there, learning, tip number one, bring more water with you, especially on days like this, I'm tanking through water, it's so, so damn hot, not complaining because it's beautiful, um, I love it when the sun's out like this, so yeah I'm going to pick up some nice clean water and we'll get it boiled, we'll get it filtered and we'll have a drink to at least continue with and get back with, which would be nice. Okay guys, so here's my fresh water sauce, it's not the best in the world, definitely not the best, it's going to need a good filter, and it's going to need a good clean, but let's quick try, see how clean this is, yeah, fresh, nice and fresh, alright we'll get some of this bottled up, and 
we'll get cracking on. So there we go. I've had this beautiful little eagle follow me around for the past hour or two. So our next stop is going to be up there. Just around the corner from that point, I'm sure that's where the boffies are going to be. I've been hiking for quite a while now, so I don't see it being much further out than that. Absolutely dripping. Beautiful walk. Very retiring. The fitness is getting there though. Aye, the fitness is getting there very slowly. Uh, it'll come in leaps and bounds. I think it's more the dehydration and hunger setting in than anything else. So, let's hope just behind these behind this little cliff down here that's where we're going to set up and have some food something to drink and chill out, catch some fish we'll just have a nice little lay down on the rocks for a bit and relax awesome, excited to take you guys along with me I hope you're enjoying the journey so far and let's continue on Hey, so I had to take a little sit down, a little breather. The air uh, office seemed to be a hell of a lot further out than what expected. But hey, he's got a friend. Say hi, little dude. He's got a little friend to keep me company. Um, whew. yeah, hydration set, dehydration setting in pretty fast. Really need to get stopped and get some water boiled. I really could do with some food. But the show must go on. I can't be much further because the cliff and the beach cuts off soon um, and then it gets impassable. So it's got to be somewhere around here. <laughs> right, let's put this little dude back in the water and we'll get ourselves off. Right, so I've just checked the OS maps. Uh, just because I've been hiking what since 11 o'clock this morning it's now almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon still no boffies I've just checked the OS maps and I've took a screenshot so if you check out my Instagram you'll be able to see exactly where I am and where I've travelled from but just behind me there's a nice forestry area uh, future note Ten sleeping bag. I think that'd be a nice little place to actually start a little uh, home base bushcraft shelter. Let's see, if we can chop some stuff down, make a shelter from scratch, and record some videos. Would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, from what I'm what I've seen on the OS maps, just behind this cave, uh, quarter of a mile round, there should be the boffies there. So I'm excited to get stopped. <laughs> I had to take a little seat for 15 minutes. Absolutely dying. Yeah, skimming across the rocks and the sand. <sighs> Should have prepared again more. More water. Definitely more water. We'll be fine. We're almost there. Boil up some water, let it cool down in the sea. And we'll be good to go. Awesome. Right. Next video should be when we're there. Let's go.
found it guys uh, just as I said 15 minutes up so we found it beautiful finally sit down have something to eat and drink oh there's someone else here the little doggy best going to say hi but absolutely beautiful look at that hey right. don't know where we're gonna put the rod in if anywhere we'll find out Yo, let's go. Lovely, so we made it. We're here, the first boffy. So beautiful. I uh, I met the lady that I saw in the last video. She's got a cute little pup with her. Pretty old, but a gorgeous pup regardless. Uh, she was lovely, she told me she'd just come. From not far away, she said there's a little track. Ah, oh, I can see the track. A little track that takes you through the forest, up to the back roads and then lead you onto the main road. So, instead of trekking all the way back, what I may do is take that track and see if I can hitch a ride home. But, boffy number one, let's have a look. Lovely. Ah, oh, lovely, look at this. Oh, look at this. Might not even have to make a fire. Some fresh water down there. Perfect. Ah, oh. see, people are beautiful. Look at that. If you don't fancy beans, I can have something else. Ah, oh, beautiful. I think I'm going to spend the night here in a couple of days. I might come back. I wonder if that's my friend, Coco. We'll see, I'll have to message her. We need torches. Ah, oh, look at that. Some sleeping bags. I could probably just crash in someone's sleeping bag, to be honest. Lovely cooking utensils. don't think we've got any gas. Oh yes we do, we have some gas. Look at that, I'll be able to filter and cook some water. Perfect! Oh, I'm a happy boy. This boffy was well worth a stop. <sighs> Just amazing. See, I don't know what is left here for people to use or not. Obviously, that up there, I know, is for people to take and leave. Amazing, right? We're heading an hour up that way next. Supposedly there's a really nice 
hollow caved rock sculpture thing. I'm not a sculpture, natural formation. We've got to go check that out. Just behind these bushes is another boffy. We'll go see that. And here's this one for now. It's beautiful. It's really nice. Perfection. Absolute perfection. So I'm sitting on 5% battery, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to record the rest of the journey. But I'm sat here with my beans, got my water boiling and cooling down. Uh, yeah, so I'll cut you off here, guys. It's been a long day already. Um, I'll probably take the track back up and see if I can hitch a ride, on, hitch a ride home. Yeah, but now we know where this place is, next time I come out, I'll just drive up and we'll come straight down the track to this boffy and we'll explore the rest another day. Uh, but for today, happy with what we've done. A nice four or five hour trek. Just excited to get these beans down, a nice drink, and we'll head from there. Okay guys, I'll leave you with a nice scenery picture. Hey guys, if you ever visit a boffy, I always try and leave something. Just a quick heads up. I had all this spare firewood. Uh, don't need it, there was a gas stove here luckily enough. But if anyone stays over, at least they've got something. Oh, actually, look at that. I didn't realise someone's not long but I had a fire in here. Awesome. So yeah, always make sure you leave something. And contribute some wood this time. Perfect. Right. I'll see you when we're home, guys. Hey guys, so this will be the last video before I get home. Uh, I'll make a little one to catch you up through and give you a rundown of how my day went when I get home. So I took a track up from the boffies, super incline. I had to stop about five times, but it's fine we got there. Um, and that took us onto this little road. 
from the maps I was hoping there'd be a little uh, a bush route around here or something but no it's a back road um, I checked the sign I checked the maps I've got a nice six mile walk till I get to Rosemarkey and then another quarter of a mile walk from Rosemarkey to home water's gone again super dehydrated super warm today if I haven't learnt anything from today it's bring more water you know what I need one of them Lifesaver straw things. Boom. Done. Jobs are good in. So I'll have to pick myself one of them up. Oh. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Knackered. Exhausted. But everything's going well. Oh. Oh, Rosemarkey. Six miles. And there's a nice little shop in Rosemarkey where I can grab a drink of water and a Snickers bar. Always keeps me going. Whew. <laughs> Six mile walk, man, in this heat. It's killer. Killer. But we're doing it. We're doing it. I was thinking of hitching a lift. But I'm going to do it just for the fitness. Because I need to build this up. So I might as well walk it instead of getting a lift. <sighs> the more I push myself, the better I'll be in the future. Uh Thinking about a plan for the rest of the week. Not really too sure. It's payday tomorrow, so I might take you up to Loch Tave and Tavi, Tave, don't know how it's pronounced. And we'll hit some trout. Always catching there. Always catching there. I'll take a nice two trout at home and I'll go through prepping. Well, my quick prep method and we'll have trout for dinner tomorrow. Ah, come on there though, it's been mega, oh god mega, go crossing the rocks on the beach and just the sceneries and the people I bumped into, bumped into another couple uh, after I trekked up the uh, hill from the boffy and stumbled out of a bush they did, a uh, bit conspicuous, um, but I felt breath. <laughs> Stop and stopped a mid light light chat with them. They was asking about the area. Uh, first time I've been up here, so I could only direct them where I've been. Uh, but they seemed excited enough. Told them that that hill's lovely to walk down. Not too nice to come back up. But hey ho, let's go. Uh, Two percent battery left. Um, I'm gonna have to cut through the Fairy Glen, which is a shame. I'm only on two percent battery. The Fairy Glen is stunning. Uh, there's fresh water running through there. I'm not going to make a fire and boil it, I'm just going to take a quick drink. Yeah, before I get to Rosemarkey, I'm patched. I'll probably catch some from Parasite, but hey ho, needs must. Right, guys. Whoa! Beautiful day. Beautiful day. See, it's a lot different from when we went camping on Gav the other day. Right. Okay, guys, there's a car passing. Shall I hitch it? Nah, shall I? Shall I? What hitch it? Let's keep going. But. Here we go. Bugs everywhere. There's a big tower thing next to me. I don't know if you can see it up there. Big radio tower or something. Probably where your internet comes from. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Should we climb it? Nah. <laughs> Definitely not. Right, guys. Probably we'll see when I'm home. Um, if I have any percentage left, I will try and snap a few pics or record a quick clip of the fairy glen. See if we can spot some fairies. <sighs> awesome. Beautiful day. Catch you soon, guys. Okay, so we made it home, nice and safe, fancy journey. I uh, I did stop off for a beer <laughs> when I got to Rosemarkey. Um, the missus wasn't best pleased, but I stopped off for a beer, a glass of water. Boom, boom, done, home. Uh, but yeah, last time I saw you guys, uh, I was taking the track back. Uh, Christ, six, what, six, six and a half miles? Yeah, killer, absolute killer, especially in the sun with no water. Absolutely killer, you can see 
I am Red Raw, no sun cream, yeah, Red Raw. So there's another thing we learned today. So what did we learn today? One, bring more water, always bring more water, especially on days like this when the sun's out and there's no shade. Uh, always bring water, extra water. I might be getting one of them life straw things where you can just out of streams. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, that'll be nice. Uh, what else? Two, I need your shoes. Big time. My feet are in blisters. It's a struggle to walk. My feet are absolutely killing. It was a long walk. We set off around about 11 o'clock. Didn't make it back home till 7 o'clock on the night. It was a big, 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 big trek today. I was actually stood on Rose Market Beach when I got back. And the huge radio tower thing, I think I took a picture of it. Or maybe a video, I can't remember. That seemed a hell of a distance away. More than one person could walk in a day. But we did it. We got there, got back. All along the shore, from Fort Rose, Rose Mackey, all the way up to Cromarty. And back down through the tracks. It was very, very good. Free sun cream. Sun cream. It's like this. Sun cream. Yeah, I'm 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 bent crap. <laughs> so sun cream's gonna be a good one. A good one to put in my bag. I don't think I have any left from last summer, so I'll have to go out and pick some up. Uh but yeah, we'll get some sun cream. I might get that hand spray stuff. Shh, shh, shh. Be nice and easy. Uh, what else? Let's just sum the day up, really. So it was a nice day, nice weather, no clouds. The beach walk was phenomenal. Um, I didn't get to lift as many rocks and see as much of the sea life as I wanted to. Didn't collect any winkles or mussels, which I wanted to, and sit down and eat. Uh, but by the time I was halfway through the trek, I had a bag full of wood to prep uh, some prep some water, boil some water, get it cleaned down. Uh, but we, we turned a couple of stones, we saw a couple of fish and we saw crab. It was pretty nice. The scene was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, just 360 all the way there, just gorgeous sights. It was amazing. Met some nice people on the way, that old guy, the lady on the beach. I met two people sneaking out of a bush on the way home. Yeah, it was lovely. It was absolutely lovely. The boffy was the main part, main highlight of my day. It's just communities like that. It's it's great. You can go in, and there's food there waiting for you. There's drinks waiting for you. There's an open fire. There's sleeping bags. There's air beds. There's a gas stove. There's lighters. Someone left some tobacco tobacco pouch there. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. It was so clean and tidy, well kept. Uh, I did drop my wood off because obviously I didn't need it with the gas stove. Yeah, it was great. Cooked some beans, sat out and watched the tide come in for a little bit. So I took the trek up. The trek up to the uh, off-roads. That was crazy. I sat down about 10 times on the way up. It was so steep. And I was so exhausted from the beach walk. Don't know how many miles we covered in total today, but it must at least be about 12 upwards and half of that was on the skimming along the stones and walking through the sand and the gravels uh but christ i couldn't have picked a better day and i couldn't have picked a better walk and um, there's still stuff i want to see there and there's still spots i want to fish there so i'll probably make a part two uh, so keep an eye out for that tomorrow i am going fishing I'm going fishing, so you'll definitely get to see me catch some fish tomorrow. I'm going to a trout, uh, just a local trout pond, and we're going to pull out some trout, take some home for dinner, get it cooked. I'll show you how I'll prep and cook my way trout, and that'll be nice. Feed some of the little man, so you should get to see the little man tomorrow. He's in bed right now. It is about nine, half nine. I got home seven, uh, had a shower, got some clean clothes on. Relaxed for a little bit, and yeah, here we are. End of the day, lovely day, lovely trek out. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So new boots, water filter, and extra sun cream. Well, any sun cream, 
extra sun cream. We need any sun cream. Thanks for coming along with me. It's nice to have someone to chat to on the way. Beautiful, beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for anything better, to be honest, except more water. Uh, the beans are lovely. <laughs> the beans are lovely. I love just taking like small cans of stuff like that. It's just small, compact, cheap. You don't have to go out and buy the bags of camping dry food that add water. You're looking a couple of quid for them and you get just as much in a in a tin. A uh, tin of beans, tin of chilli, yeah, stuff like that. It's nice and easy. Sometimes I take a pack of hot dogs with me and some noodles and throw them together in some water. Super cheap, super easy. And Philly, one one tin of beans lasts me the full day till I get home. I have something to eat in the morning. All I had this morning was an apple. I should have eaten more. Should have drank more before I left. But I was just excited to get out. I saw the sun and I was like, that's it. Check the chat tide times. I was getting out. I was getting out regardless. But I'm not looking forward to the burnage. Thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, my last video, kind of my catchphrase now. Don't just watch it, just get out and experience it. Uh, that's what I'm doing, and it's amazing, man. Like, I spent all winter on my ass doing nothing. Got out, springtime, and chirpy, happy. It's good for the mind, good for the soul, good for the heart, good for the body. Just get out there, explore. Even if it's a little walk around your forest, local forestry areas, local beach, even if it's only an hour, 20 minutes, just get outside. Get outside, clear your mind, be on your own, be with your thoughts. It's, it's enjoyable, it's lovely. Hey guys, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like, follow, share and add me on Instagram, Facebook. I'm more active on Instagram. You'll see quite a lot of my nice pictures I took today. A lot of that aren't going to be in the videos. Uh, I took some crackers today. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care.